All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Here we go. For real. <laughs> yeah. He's here. So, chat, I'm going to need your help with uh, audio, of course. So, I'm going to open the game. Because this game is loud. I know that it's loud. But also, like, you're on the same audio channel. So, I need to make sure that they can hear uh -huh. you and they can hear me. And I'm pretty sure that I uninstalled the game to make room. So, I might have to reinstall it. Oh, my God. Ooh. I did. All right. Well, hopefully this <laughs> oh, no. doesn't take... <laughs> It's fine. That's perfect because I got a bowl of food here. I gotta finish up. That's perfect. Nice. I'm good though. I just got some water. Bottled Cherno. I forgot, chat, because the <laughs> Dark Souls and uh, Yakuza take up a huge amount of gigabytes, and I'm very bad when it comes to hoarding files. I I might need and don't like. I haven't used in three years, but I might need them, so I hold on to them, and then I lose track of what they are, and I don't know if I can delete them anymore. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Happens all it's the like time. in RPGs. Yep. At least that's yep. a little less cluttered and more organized. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. It didn't give me a desktop shortcut. So, yeah, chat, first question I have for you because this is important to what I'm working on. Does anyone know where uh, – does anyone have a clip from Busy Person for, uh, for when Patchy says Moo Q but angry? Here, I'll get you the – let me get you, like, oh. the specific voice line because I might – I need to – Hold on, where is it? One sec. Uh, I need. I'm looking for. I'm looking for one specifically. Where is it? I got like 55 of them in here. I think it's. Uh, is it this one? It's not that one. This one? No, not that one. Uh. Oh, this one. This one. Yes. That one. <laughs> you know that one? You know what? I'll take any of them, chat. If you if you know where they are, if you got a clip, because I can't search. I I categorize everything Toho related in the Toho category, and when I try to search my clips, it's not helpful at all. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to actually like archive that shit properly, because you can't. Like at first, I just couldn't find the name, the individual names. I was like, ah, we'll just blanket oh, yeah. term it. So, and it worked, but finding clips again is it's a bit of a pain. But I'm looking for that specifically because I need like that moment but i also don't want to have to master the entire game again to get it you know it's a bit of a pain in the ass but if i gotta do it i gotta do it okay hold on game's up all right chat now this is important okay volume's at 25 can you hear me all right now just just talk just talk talk uh, words uh two who's oh, okay my gosh that chat can nice. you can you hear him clearly through the game audio Talking. Talk this words. is important. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. okay. And okay. you can still hear the game audio. Okay. That's that's the important part. All right. All right. All right. All right. So you got a uh, you got your stream up now, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Let me throw the squad invite here to you. Oh snap. Mar there you go. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love when you put someone's name in the search and you just get a bunch of like. You just get a bunch of old ones, like accounts that are unused. Like my uh, my name, for example. You know, I'm Asprey FM. I tried uh -huh. to just use my regular name, but it belongs to an account that is now like eight years old and has been active for eight years. But <laughs> I, but they got it. They got my name. So that's why I had to put the uh, that's why I had to put the acronym at the end. Because people tend to do one of like three things: they acronym the series they're a part of. They uh. They include was here slash or, or like was taken, or mm -hmm. they use the initials of a character they like. Those are the three fail safes for when you can't uh, just use your name as it is, because some inactive accounts got it. <laughs> That's always good. Okay, so here's the first question I have: How how uh, how experienced are you at this game? Um, I've I've played through the story a couple of times, but I'm not I'm no expert. I don't know any shortcuts. Then, then you're right there with me. I, I remember Perfect. very few of the shortcuts, and I have to relearn them every time I play this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, not multi, online. Okay. So normally what we do is we would do, like, free match, and I just make a room code. But we can just play on rank, because there's not, like, you know, we're, we're pretty easily going to find each other. And yep, yep. There, that way we get rank points. When you rank up in this game, you unlock different colors for like different characters so i feel like like we did that last time as well a couple of us got to like the second rank and we unlocked pretty much one new outfit for every character 
And it's nice just to see the variety, and it's, so it's a little bit of incentive like there. But we don't, you know, it's we're not playing it like it's a rank match, you know. A lot of the people who, who join in to play this with me are uh, not that great, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I don't mean, I don't mean, to, you know, I'm not much better. But some of them, some of them are like, you know, they only really play it when the, uh, they only really play it when the chance arises to play it, like here on stream. So we're all, we're all kind of, we're all kind of ass, but you know, we have fun with it. It's because everybody in the lobby doesn't, isn't really like a, a, an expert that we can all just kind of like enjoy it around the same skill level. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna pick my character. I just like oh. hitting random. All right, so are you in the, are you in rank match? I uh, ranked. Oh no, where is it? Versus. Uh, yeah, versus uh, online. Multi. Oh, well, oh, I immediately online. joined up with Kraska. <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm spaghetti. Multi. Online. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you don't get in this room, I gotta leave. Hurry! Did you hurry! Do a free match or rank match? Uh, rank match. Rank match. Oh, geez, geez, geez. okay. Okay. Hurry! I'm not oh, sure I'm in the right region. There you are. There you are. I see you. Oh, oh, there I you see you. Okay. That's me. All right, so yeah, okay. chat. I got Naro here for about uh, two hours, maybe a little bit less. He's gonna go out yeah. later to watch some fireworks with old Maurice, yeah, and yeah. I'll be moving on to play some Hina for a bit, and then I'll be retiring for the night from myself, and cool. just watching 2023 roll in to the sound of neighborhood fireworks, most likely. Sounds cool. Yeah, join up, chat. You know, we're just gonna play. Uh, you know, we'll play just a bunch of matches, and then after, uh, after like I don't know, four or five, maybe six, we'll just jump out, jump into a new lobby, and more people can get to play. But it's just free to join. I don't really care who joins. We're just here to, we're just here to kick off the new year. You know, relax, get to know each other better. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, geez. Let's go. How do you play this again? Uh, uh, good question. I think A button accelerates. R button oh, uses uh, items. Wait, I, what controller are you on? Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a gamepad, yeah. Are you Xbox gamepad? Uh, uh, PlayStation. Oh, I can't help you. <laughs> That's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. It's coming back to me. Okay. Oh, top top R. Nice. Top arrow uses items. The button oh, next love, to your... The button to the left of your bottom button is drift. L button should be switch. I, I think. I can't throw things behind me. I'm just driving on Remy. <laughs> I love this map. The fog, the fog is just a JPEG, like a flat place. <laughs> yeah. You cannot see through. <laughs> this track has probably like it has a really good aesthetic. It has one of my favorite track like songs in the game. But honestly, I don't like section tracks in Mario Kart to begin with. Uh -huh. And this one in particular is kind of short, and it really, really favors characters with naturally high top speed. So if you're playing on like Sakuya, you just you know, you just kind of lose. That has nothing yeah. to do with my skill at the game. It's just uh, the character. The character's yeah. holding me back, of course. <laughs> there is one shortcut on this map that I know of, but every single time I've ever tried to take it, I have fallen and I have been forced back like five places as a result. I actually Damn. just, it was that right there, chat, where I just passed. By the way, I'm, uh, I'm kind of cruising right now on Remy's back. <laughs> like, the end of the level is... Right here, I'm, I'm done. Oh, cool. Yeah, see you yeah, later. Some, some characters are definitely specialized. Yep. Too much. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, Re Remy, Remy has like one of the highest top speeds, right? So as long as she's not having to drift or like turn, her she's just gonna be fast. Wow, actually, second place was less than a second away from me. <laughs> God damn. All right. Not bad. So like I said, chat, if you want to join, you just just smack rank, you'll probably end up in our lobby. Yeah, like that, see? And it's free to join, anybody can join, doesn't matter. We're just, again, we're just here to mess around. So, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you saw or, or if you keep up on them, Naro, but the uh, Arno put out their next uh, M1 Grand Prix, and right now it's available for free for all users. So I watched it when I woke up. The 17th one. They've been at this for so long. But normally oh. you need to pay like a $15 membership monthly. But I guess when they release new ones, they let it, they make it free for a couple days. So I hopped on the opportunity. And I gotta say, it was a good one. I never saw the 16th one though. My, my membership ran out before I got to watch it. And I did not want to drop another $15 just to watch one, one of them. 
a little, a little cheap on my part, I admit. But, you know, <laughs> 15 bucks for <laughs> an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot. Oh, what is this? I forgot that Sakuya's clock wasn't even an item. Oh, oh. like just, just a regular item? Yeah, it's... Oh. It's uh, I think it's a first place... I don't think it's first place only. But it's it's a tier two item that you put on the ground, and when you crash into it, it activates like the slowdown effect. Oh right, it's That's just the one. you don't really see it a lot because if you're in first place, you're not really trying to get tier two items. You're trying to get the tier one like boosty item because that will let you do shortcuts. I, I don't know who Ah is, but they're they're very they're holding down third place. I feel like I'm doing so well, but I'm in. <laughs> I've been sitting oh, in no. fourth for the last two laps. Yeah. Oh, I oh don't my. Need to be frozen. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. Dude, I'm frozen <laughs> and time stop. Oh, it's you. Okay, hold on. Slow your roll, son. No, 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 no. I am. I am two rings away from getting my uh, my spell card. Oh, keep it that way. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Here it oh, comes. No. Oh no. Come on, racing! Catch up, catch up, catch up, dude! How are you? S how'd you get so far ahead? What? I, 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 items, baby! <laughs> His items are better than mine. Oh no! Wait! Wait! No, he got a mushroom! God damn it! Ooh, that was close. As soon as I roll, I don't know what you had, but as soon as I rolled my special, you were like already. You were already off yeah. the bend. Like you were done. Yeah, 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 I had a I had a I had a I a fan ready. Oh. That would explain <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you were gone before I got anywhere near you. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That whole race I felt like I was like I was doing it, but I was in fourth place for the great majority of it. <laughs> yeah. I was, I started in fifth for the most part, but managed to clutch it. You had the Yomo effect, right? The her spell card? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a, yeah. I like that one. It gives you 60 seconds. It, it gives you 60 seconds of an additional like uh, top speed. Oh. Yeah. So it's it's not like a it's not like super uh, dramatic, but if you can use it early enough on a track, you get a full minute of a higher top speed than you usually get. But you also have Sakuya, so she's kind of slow to begin with, but she's really good at turning corners. <laughs> that's sometimes that's all you need, especially on a track like this. Oh, yep. Just crashed into the wall with like uh, four other guys. Because we're all on uh, characters who can't turn to save their lives. Oh, this is good. Oh, okay. I see the shortcut there, right at the other side. I'll go for it, why not? I think we had one Sanai in here. And that means there is a blue shell thrower, but they have to be pretty far in the back before they can throw it. <laughs> all right, all right. Tight battle. I'm back in fifth. I don't think I'm gonna get my special on this one. Well, now I will. Oh my, all right, okay. I have... One lap to do this. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Oh, this is good. <laughs> and it explodes when it's done, I remember that. Come here. Yes. No. No, I can't see. Ah, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You're alive, dog. You died. Oh, sorry. Oops. <laughs> what you did died. I do? You died okay. on me halfway through the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, Karaska's crushing it. What the heck? Had almost had it there. Almost had it. I got hit by a bomb, and then I got hit mm. by a bomb on the recoil, so I went back to seventh. 
I still got a third though. <laughs> still got a third. Yeah. Oh, this one. Okay, this is uh, this one has like my second favorite track in the game. The actual uh, the composers for this game, you got Soundholic. Obviously, you know. I'm sure you know them, right? Yeah. Familiar with them. Do you know who Star Drops are though? Star Drops? Not familiar. Yeah, they have a few tracks that are credited to in this game. But, like, when I did my video on this game, I tried to look into them, and I could not find, like, any info on any group under that name at all. Uh -huh. So I have no idea who they are, but their music's good, if this game has anything to go off of. Yeah, and then yeah. there's one track in this game that's credited to Yutu Akiyama, the composer oh, nice, for nice. Twilight Frontier. It's the one yeah. for the Forest of Magic, which I'm pretty sure that one is a mix of one of the fighting game tracks to begin with. Oh yeah, it's kind of neat. That's oh. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> this game has a lot of uh, polish to it. It's impressive. Yeah, yeah. It looks nice. It sounds nice. It sounds good. Yeah. I do wish, however, that the red shells were a little, uh, you know, worked. I don't. I don't oh yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's too uh, too big of an ask to have the red shells actually <laughs> target people that have proper distance. <laughs> uh huh. And if the blue shell wasn't tied to a one-time use character specific attack, that only happens at about the third lap, of course. But hey, yeah. what can you do? Ow. Yeah. <laughs> also, looking at this course map, I have no idea how to read it. It looks neat. Oh yeah, yeah. this map's funky. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks like the boat. But yeah, like, it kind of actually looks like a boat, yeah. <laughs> if you just showed somebody this course map and told them to tell, ask them how you drive it, I don't think anyone would be able to. A lot of it is nonsense. <laughs> Alright. I did the Mario Kart standard, where you just kind of avoid all of, the, all of the random items in the middle of the pack. And then you get so far ahead, because second place got belted with items as well. So now nothing can hurt me. Even if I am covered in a block of ice. Wait, that can't hurt me. Oh! <laughs> seconds, <laughs> seconds short. Nice. Did not process that fast enough. Couldn't block it. Nice. Kind of like this combination, but that's mostly because we haven't rolled one of the underground levels. Those ones are just so bad for the characters who can't drift. Oh, this is... Oh no, this is bad. Oh yep. no. <laughs> I was not making that turn with the ice and slow down. I got this last lap. There's no clown. Sonaya's already blown her load. So all I have to do is continue racing just like this. And nothing can stop me. That's really good. Nothing like a first place mushroom to make you feel a little bit better about everything. See you later. And I think that's it for me. Oh no. That's, no. Wow. <laughs> no. I got the, the two mushrooms on my last two items in first place. Nice. Very nice. Year of the Rabbit too. That's correct. Yes, we're we're going on to the Year of the Rabbit. I random picked my character though, just so you know. <laughs> we're gonna see a lot of racing art, uh, probably the next day, if not later today itself, because of Japan. So I remember last year. Uh, what was it? Last year or the year before? Uh, Udemy had a huge spark of art. Oh, Pretty sh that's uh, true. Show had a huge spark of art. And then those characters went back into their, you know, <laughs> they 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 uh, their, uh... they see her slain out of there, out of uh, relevance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it, it was the year of the mouse, and then the cow, and then it was the tiger, I think. I've lost track. Wait, yeah, tiger? Like that. Tiger was this right. year, right? I think so. Yeah, because I okay. know Rumi's uh, Fahrenheit came. The year before shows. I definitely remember. I, I remember when, yeah, the cat. Like that was, that was the most popular Udemy has ever been, and the most popular <laughs> Udemy will ever be. 
Yeah. <laughs> Bit of a shame. But you know what? I think the biggest thing that holds that character back is just that Zun gave her a very ugly outfit. It's very yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, like, yeah, the color's not too flattering, but just like the look of the outfit, in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I don't know. It looks, yes. yeah. it looks a bit strange to me. Like, I know his clothes, some of his clothes choices are like weird, but there's like a charm to their strangeness because there's a lot of frills and ribbons and stuff. Mm -hmm. But with Udemy, it's just kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, <laughs> chat, help <laughs> yeah. me out here. Banana like, cow? Know. That's not a good word to use for it, but sure, <laughs> we'll go with it. Yeah. It looks like she's ready to go for a jog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe that's what it is. Like her gear, like her outfit looks kind of like workout attire, with how. Uh -huh. uh, but it's it's like it's showing skin, but it's not like you know it's not like a skirt, or it's not even like proper shorts. But then it's like a crop top as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I just I don't know. This is why that's why I asked Chat. I asked Chat because they they fill in the creative blanks that are known to the streamer. Then I read their messages and pretend I said it, because the VOD watchers don't know the difference. That's how you attract <laughs> them. <laughs> no chat replay on this stream, because I need to conceal whose jokes I'm stealing. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I have... Oh, actually, I'm still in second. Holy Jesus. Hold on. Karaska, are you, uh... Are you practice this map? You're actually killing it. Like, holy Jesus. He's yeah. so far ahead. Okay, that was just nice. Did that hit? Yeah, that Sorry. hit. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Because now I'm going to pass you with the shortcut I know about. No. I missed it. Oh, that's so bad. I can't use Remy's ability because it's too slow. It's not going to charge in time. Oh, Oof. this is great. Something tilting about being in a low place and having the guy in front of you get a star and you get like a bomb. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like, come on, throw me a bone here. <laughs> here you go, ba boom. Yep. All right, just uh, it fell out of bounds and it faded through the the ground. Yeah, chat, you saw that, right? I know chat saw that. I know chat saw that. I, I just kind of, I out of bounds, and I fell through the floor, <laughs> and then I just I could not win. No <laughs> chance. Look at that. Oh, actually, only a two second difference between the two of you. I guess he did get oh, hit really? by that snipe bomb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrasco also <laughs> fell down. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. No, he had a he had a crazy lead going into the third lap there. Yeah. I guess he he just uh, he just did what I did, but he didn't get a. Uh, I had a huge lead on the, the ship, and then I just kind of got a uh, got an eye bombed. And when you get an eye bombed, your character like breaks their legs, and they have to like slowly get them back on the cart. Right, character's back. Oh man, which one is this? Three of these look exactly the same. Oh, there's three of these? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the outside world, there's redevelopment area A, and redevelopment area B. <laughs> right. They yeah. all have the same aesthetic and the same music. I don't know if you played it since the Cherno update, but there's another track in here just called Cherno Circuit. Not anything oh, crazy, yeah. but, you know, it's a new track at least. Mm -hmm. I think I played it, yeah. I remember it as just being like a Blue Mari Circuit. Really? <laughs> yeah, but see when when I was told that there was a, a new track called Cherno like Cherno Circuit I thought of like I thought it was just gonna be full of a bunch of like just Cherno propaganda. Oh Yeah, <laughs> it really was I was kind of let down But it was fine. It's a good excuse to play the game again. Uh -huh. I wasn't expecting uh, Alice and Orin to be added as new characters in the like at all, but that was like over a year ago at this point I think yeah, I guess it's been a year. I don't remember when this game came out. <laughs> I, it's certainly been a while, though. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, got those Conoco sticks stuck in the air. Oh, I think I sniped someone. I see somebody in last place, and I can only assume they crashed into the spinning wall, and there's no chance of them catching up at this point. 
Oh yeah, I've been there before. There's one part of this map I just cannot seem to grasp. Like I fall down every time. Like <laughs> that I fly part. Through the rings and I just fall in the void. Oh, the, like the jump pad area. Yeah, oh. I think so. Yeah. I've crashed into the you know that part where you get to the two branching like blue paths where the, the that oh. like thing is spinning. I've crashed yeah. into that before and just like would not fall fast enough, so I slowly descended. It took about eight seconds to get back onto the race, and yeah, I, I did not place very well in that race. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I think I got. Oh, I can't I can't see the track. Uh oh no. <laughs> the ice covered me at the part that you were just referring to. I crashed into the wall, and then I got the animation where, you know, you get hit when I got back up. I still got it, though. That, that's cool. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah. All right. Nice, 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 nice. Two-track courses, you know? Sometimes you just got to get a good uh, first lap. Really says something when the bot takes over and they fall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look at that discrepancy. First and last. <laughs> Alright, I'll do one more and then we'll refresh the uh, the lobby. Mm -hmm. There we go. Alright, alright. Alice and Orin, I think we're chosen by tournament winners. Really? Where, like, what they do or just like what characters would be, uh, be in it? Because I know that uh, they do two tournaments and stuff like that for this, and like the dev has—I don't know how involved the dev is with it nowadays, but it was kind of cool to see the dev like get—he was involved to some capacity in uh, in like the community for this game. Although there was a—I don't know if you know about it. You heard about how this game was made by someone who worked on Mario Kart, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Originally, I heard that that was like it was somebody who worked on like the original Double Dash. Yeah. But turns out that the person who made this, it wasn't Double Dash they worked on. They worked on Mario Kart 8's battle mode specifically. So, yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah. I don't want to say underwhelming, but that's kind of a step down from Double Dash because Mario Kart 8's battle mode was not very good. Like, right, right. That wasn't bad. Like mechanically because it's still Mario Kart but the way you did battle mode in that game didn't have its own it didn't have its own tracks so you just did uh you did the battle mode format but it just used the entire track of a regular Grand Prix race so really? you yeah so like I'm at you know, like oh. Moo Moo Meadows for example like the yeah. the one from N64 imagine that but like everybody's driving around trying to hit each other with shells and bombs like how do you do that if I'm chasing you and you're chasing me, then we're on opposite sides of the track. Somebody's going to turn around, and it's not going to be me. So <laughs> we're never going to catch each other. Yeah. The whole point of the battle mode like uh, maps where they're supposed to be like close quarters so you could you could always have like a vantage point on people and see where they are. Mm -hmm. But the way it worked in Mario Kart 8, I think they fixed it in the Switch version, though. I, I don't know because I didn't play that battle mode. No idea. But the one for Wii U was a lot to be desired. Yeah, the thing about the, uh, the, uh, uh, Double Dash, yeah, the Double Dash developer rumor, I guess it started because of the, uh, tagging mechanic. Yeah, I mean, yeah. usually when I think of this game, I think of Double Dash, uh, across yeah. Sonic Riders, because mm -hmm. there's very, a lot of similarities, but I think, like, there was just an interview or something that I was mistranslated or misunderstood as, uh, where his experience with Mario Kart came from. Oh right. boy. Okay. But you know, yeah, it was pretty well. Uh, it, was, it was yeah. It's one that I knew, and then when I found out the truth, it didn't really affect me or anything like that. But I just kind of thought like, huh, that's a hell of a difference between uh, you know, projects to work on. I'm invincible, so this isn't gonna hit me. But I can't see. I'm blind. Where am I? What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I keep, I keep like trying to cut corners and I just fall and like <laughs> get stuck on the wall, like stuck on the edges. So apparently if you're invincible when Sanai's flashbang hits you, it doesn't explode. So it just stays on top of you and you can't see anymore. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I straight up could not see. I was just in a, a big blinding white light. <clears throat> okay. Tenshi, Yukari, Alice, and Orin were added by tournament winners. Oh. I, uh, I didn't know Tenshi and Yukari were added. I thought they were... I thought... Weren't they part of the story? What is my character doing? What the heck was that? <laughs> Alright, let's reload the room. Alright. Yeah. I'm, I'm jumping back in. Actually, let's take a second here. Take a second here. Hold on. They were part of Act 2 story. I guess this game came out before I got a chance to play it, so Act 2 story wasn't a, a thing. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Alright. Yeah, I played... When I first played this game, I did the story mode, and I was like... It started... I thought I was done, and then I went to play, like, uh, like just verses to look at some things, and I saw tracks that I hadn't seen yet, and I was like, what? And then I, I found out that you click story mode for the second time, and then the game's like, hey, here's story mode too. Also, I think <laughs> I broke my game. Oh, oh no. Uh, I, I think I hit the wrong button or something, but it's uh, it got stuck in matching in progress, and it would not actually match, so let me just reboot real quick. <clears throat> okay, okay. Coming back. The story modes were fun. I, I enjoyed them. Okay. Alright. Are you on uh are you in a lobby right now or are you on rank match? I'm I'm not a little I'm not in a lobby now. Okay, I'm on I'm gonna press A on rank mate match in three, two, one. Alright. Oh. Uh, no that's can that's cancel. Oh no. <laughs> Did, are you uh oh. My, like... my controls are Japanese, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm not in your lobby. Uh, I'm here with Kraska again. <laughs> oh, I can't exit out. Oh no. Wait, I'm Raymo and Marissa. Oh right, I forgot to randomize my character. I'm not ready. Disregard uh, that. I'm trying to find. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hold on, I'm gonna randomize my character. Oh, uh, I gotta randomize too. Yeah. I'm joining back up. Okay. All right, I'm in. There you are. I got clown piece I'm and Kassen. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Did I get a double How did Yukari? you get double Yukari? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Is she slow? I think she's heavy. She is, I, she's the second heaviest character in the game, I oh, believe. Yeah. Second or third. The heaviest is Kokoro. Oh, okay. I don't remember oh, the cool. finer details on character weight, but uh, there's a few characters that I remember specifically on things because... Oh, well, yeah. some of them stuck out. Like, oh, here we go. Yeah, let's go. I don't remember how Kassen plays. <laughs> I don't know what Clown Feast does either. Well, I, I guess there are two of her. Probably some gap shenanigans. Maybe. <laughs> what if? Okay. What if? What if Ron is like dressed as her? Oh. What if that's <laughs> it? Because they look kind of, <laughs> they look kind of similar, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta put on the, the purple attire, and you're good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you—that means you have double the the cheat option, border of cheating, or whatever it's called. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, don't that. I don't think I ever played Yukari, but her spell card, it uh, when you use it, it forcibly puts you in front of the person a certain amount of places ahead of you. But there's a certain amount of distance where it won't do that anymore from the finish lap. Yeah. I don't really understand it, but yeah, it's basically a cheat item that puts you in front of somebody because you, you've earned it, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Funny explosives. Futo is fun to use, yeah. But she, what, her special comes so quickly and it's just like 10 bombs. <laughs> you just lob them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that elixir there's a shortcut here you can get without a, a what do you call it a, an item you just hold up oh yeah oh yeah it's at the end of uh i think it's here oh yeah yeah you mean the, the red uh it's where everybody dash? is yeah you just hold up or uh, sorry hold down hold down to go up oh and, oh okay yeah you don't even need a mushroom for that one it's a pretty good one to know that's cool oh goodness Yo, that red shell went over my head, and then it still missed Karaska. I'm right behind you, and I'm about to get my buff. Actually, do I even want this? Catch the monkey, Paul. 
He was in the air, so it didn't oh. hit him. <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely feeling her heaviness. <laughs> oh, no. She's thick. <laughs> she thick. <laughs> just, it just means you can't bump her around. Man, I remember playing uh, like Mario Kart 8 on online, and you know a lot of people like to use uh, the he like the heavy characters because they have good top speed, good um, a high top speed. But I like using the small characters. But m if you try to play a like a baby character online, you get hit by you get nudged by any like top tier. I could not make that gap because of Suicor's hmm. ability. Wow. Okay, I just I just used Yukari's cheat item, uh, cheat cheat spell. It moved me literally zero zero meters. Yeah, because we're too close to the finish line. But we're not even close. Yeah, oh, you are. It's I right there. <laughs> yeah. <we were. laughs> me and Karaska yeah. fell on that final jump because of Froggy Brave the Storm. But if I didn't fall, I could have could have taken it from him. Anyway, it's the same. Like I play, I like yeah. playing like smaller characters, and then you would just touch Wario, and he would actually bump you across like half the track. And it got so annoying <laughs> that when I wanted to play like small characters, I would play like Shy Guy, and I would use the full gold cart because it was the heaviest vehicle possible for oh, yeah. uh, for small characters. Yeah. <laughs> it helped, but not by much. But it helped. <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Mario and Luigi 2. So what's your opinion on this track? Have you uh, fallen out of bounds yeah, yeah. on it in a in a weird place? Uh, uh, this map is... Uh, I've, I've fallen out of bounds a number of times. Uh, <laughs> Four of us just uh, wiped out over there. Oh, yeah. I uh, Yeah, I don't know. Well, you're doing well right now, considering your your character is not going to make these drips very easy. <laughs> yeah. Well. So far, so good. Uh. Absolutely blasted. I'm sorry, ATP. You're <laughs> the only person who was going to get hit by that. You didn't deserve it. <laughs> All right. I didn't fall down yet, anyway. So, uh, got I'm pretty high opinions of this. <laughs> so Sweet. Far. I'm surprised you didn't fall at this part, because my, my drift right here is barely making it, and I'm on clown. Oh! Yeah, yeah it looks like you kind of doesn't have the worst drift, actually. I guess she's more just heavy. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh man, because your arm is a little too strong. Those bombs did not hit the track at all. There's one part of this map where you can't really see the... See the part where the uh, the, the course you know doesn't exist. <laughs> I like when you do that last little spiral downwards, and if you even slightly go off it, it out of bounds you. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hate this part <laughs> because I can't see the track until it's mm -hmm. done. Yeah. Somehow I'm now right behind you, and awesome. I have logs. Ah! Uh, wow. They somehow. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Kind of goes got that NA aim right there. Yeah, I can't catch you, but I'm not yeah. getting shaken off at least. I just need Sanai to. Yeah, actually, right on cue. <laughs> oh, no. Wait yeah, a minute! The, uh... No, I'm here too! But oh, Jesus! My eyes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was gonna get hit by that as well. I think I'm just gonna run away with your uh, earned first place. I I'm honestly no. shocked you're still in second. Yeah. Oh, that's the part of the map I always fall down. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now you're in God. third. God. Yeah. I have to slow down so much for that 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 turn. Oh, Got wow. the bail. Nice. All right. Cleaned up. Ooh, as soon as yeah. soon as Sanai happened, I was like, oh, I should I should move the opposite direction that you're going. But even though my brain said that, my hand was already holding towards you, and then it was a bit of a panic just to make sure that I didn't get hit by the big uh, flashy ball. <laughs> Clown's legs are uh, shaking. <gasps> oh yeah. Mm. Man, I wow. noticed on the second lap, I just I don't know what happened, but it felt like uh, my my turning radius. Got worse. Like, uh, it might have been a know. might have been an item. 
Yeah, maybe. I, I don't think Koishi's uh, ability affects your drift, but it does steal your item gauge. But like uh, Suiko's does. Suiko's mm -hmm. makes your speed go down and your acceleration poor. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of makes up for the fact that her pop speed is so low. At least I think it's supposed to. But I don't really know. Oh, this is my least favorite tra track. Oh, it's yeah, just, this one. It's just circles. Her ability it's does slow down. Stuff. It reduces boost. Oh, okay. So that's probably, maybe that was what it was. I thought it just stole uh, stole item. Stole your juice. Go for the big circle. You know, I honestly don't oh, think yeah. I've ever gotten first place on this map ever in all the times I've played it. Mm. There's always somebody who's better at driving than me with a faster character than me. And also, I get hit by a bomb, and then winning is impossible at that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh! Oh, got me. Okay. Yeah, sometimes being in second place is a curse. Everyone's trying to beat you for second place, and first place is usually way ahead. <laughs> Track, the, unless that Sanai is, like, in last, I don't think we're going to see her, her flashbang. Oh, man. I can't catch him. He's too quick. Fast. He's too fast. <laughs> Hold on, here I go. What does this do? Uh, this blocks an attack, I think. Uh, eh. No, I need a uh, speed. That is speed. Sly bomb. Anything to make me faster, please. Uh. <laughs> Sly bomb. <laughs> Speed up item. I crashed oh, right into getting... it. <laughs> no, oh, we're getting mushrooms. <laughs> uh, with no one in sight. The bomb. The bomb didn't go away, and I crashed right into it. <laughs> oh man. Should have waited. I should have waited. Oh, crash got an item anyway. I, I saw him do a. He did a spin. He did a spin after, so I don't think I was taken first from. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Look at that small itty bitty point bonus. You guys are fairy. Okay, yeah. But when you uh, when you hit villager rank, pretty much all your characters will get like uh, an alternate costume. You press like up or down on the character select screen for. Uh -huh. I don't cool. remember how many you get per rank, but that's how you get costumes, which some of them are pretty cool. And then there are like ones where you cover yourself in gold, but you need to have participated in a tournament for that or something. Oh, uh, I see. So I don't think we can, you know, we can't get those. Well, actually, as long as they're participation trophies, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Wow, I touched you when I bounced back to the center of the track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's thick. Heavy girl. Super massive. Don't tell her I said that though. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, there's a, there's a shortcut at the start there where you uh, you dodge the rings and you kind of like go over the little river. Mm. I like the design of this track. It's very you know it's just a human village, but it, I like the, like the idea of it looking like this, like the actual human village itself, because you don't see a lot yeah. of what's going on in there, right? It's usually just a pretty stereotypical looking area when you play it in games. <laughs> well, I played uh, Scarlet Curiosity and uh, The Disappearing of Gensokyo, which, yeah. by the way, I played that recently, and I did not finish it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I oh, got yeah, Disappearing? I got to the final boss. <clears throat> I spent, like, 12 minutes on, the like, the pattern. I had no ammo to fight her with. I finally got her to half her health bar, and then she was like, Ah, uh, Dark Fantasy Seal. And I was like, okay, I died. So, begrudgingly, I tried again, and after another 15 minutes, I got back to that part, and she was like, oh, actually, Dark Spark 2, and then she hit me with a laser, and I died instantly, and I closed the game, and I ceased to yeah. play it. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had my experience with that, with that game, too. Not a fan of the final bosses, though. No. Junko, Junko's final attack killed me instantly, and I was like, what? And then I got back to it, and I was like, I'll learn this time. And then it killed me again, and I was like, there's, there's nothing to learn. 
So then I just ran directly into her as she did her attack, and it just stopped hitting me. And I was like, ah, <laughs> yes, I've yeah, solved cool. Junko. I just couldn't believe after, like, Remy, because Remy beat my ass for, like, 35 minutes straight. But that game's recommended difficulty was hard mode. Like, yeah, yeah. bruh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> I like exist on the screen and I and I'm dead in three hits because there's absolutely no invincibility frames to speak of on anything. I swear to God, if this hits me right by the finish line and I don't get first, yeah, no, come on, I lost. <laughs> no, oh no, <laughs> I got second. Uh. Two people were behind me. One of them crashed into the Sinai bomb, and the other one didn't. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I just snuck, snuck into fourth. I think someone got hit. <laughs> Dude, I was I was winning that whole race, and I just I was winning until I lost. Mm, That's what happened nah, there. <laughs> I was winning until I lost. Yeah, no, the the human village level in that one, which oh, by yeah, the yeah. way was a poopy level. I didn't like that level at all. Those skull cannons mm -hmm. were stupid. They oh just yeah. Eviscerate your HP. But it also kind of reminded me of the one from Scarlet Curiosity. But I liked Scarlet yeah. Curiosity's like 2D perspective on that yeah. one. That game had really cool like 2D uh, sections, like the one yeah. in the Forest of Magic and the one in the Human Village. Mm -hmm. Have you been keeping up on their uh, their new game at all? I, yeah, oh, let me tell you about it. Yeah, <laughs> go, go for it. Because I haven't been following it, but I do know like that it's in the works. It's and in it, the works. It looked really cool from the trailer. Yeah, they don't post a lot of updates. Like they didn't even announce it was uh, postponed till twenty three. But uh, oh, yeah, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the right. initial reveal trailer mentioned, uh, you know, planned release date twenty twenty two. I didn't even notice that then. God, when did that and come then, out? Like summer? Uh, the, the the trailer? Yeah, the initial trailer. The that initial has to be like came out December last year. Oh my! Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, for real? <laughs> wow. Here, I was thinking it was like a few months ago. Oh, uh -huh. that, okay. Yeah. Oh, man. And yeah. Um, so the thing is, they, they posted a GIF, uh, an animation of Kosuzu, like, cleaning the store back in 2017. And uh, that 20... was like a teaser for, this, for their next game. 2017? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And since that GIF, since that animation they posted on Twitter, I've been... Anticipating this game so much, but uh, yeah, wow. I'll have to wait a few more months. I played Scarlet Curiosity, I think a year and a half ago. I think I don't remember when I played it, but mm -hmm. I, I wanted to check out both the the character routes. But I was told that they were very similar. So if I was ever to replay that game, I'd probably just play the other characters route. I played yeah. as Remy, I think. Pretty sure oh, I did. Remy's super fun. I can't remember. I gotta say though, the extra stage, I don't need to do that more than once. Like it was cool at first, but it was yeah. like 20, 20, 20 floors points. of yeah. the same layout. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's kind of tiring in the long run because I used to speedrun, uh, you know, true ending, but uh, it, it, it was pretty draining. <laughs> oh. Uh, my windows crashed while I was making a jump. Oh. I can't tell what's oh. happening, but I won. Oh. Well, you're done? Yeah. What the heck? I'm done. My, my windows crashed at a very bad time. I couldn't actually cool. see what was happening in the last uh, three seconds. And then I was across <laughs> the finish line, and there was a flashbang on me. <laughs> well, I'll cool. take it. <laughs> Speed yeah, running. So, yeah, I'm... Oh, go, go, on, ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just, just going to talk about that... Uh... That uh, Scarlet Curiosity sequel. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, yeah, so they they didn't like uh, announce it was uh, delayed, but they do post on their uh, they they have this blog website. And they uh, they answer questions, and someone asked about. Or, yeah, I think I think someone asked about the uh, the game's release, and they they just casually mentioned, oh yeah, it's been delayed till 2023. Oh, <laughs> I love a way to learn. But I'm you know what, at least, at least, board, yeah. at least they're working on it, right? I, yeah. I would, I would, I would, I wouldn't believe that no news is good news. Because, like, mm -hmm. I've been, uh, personally, I've been waiting for uh, Genso Night Festival for, oh, like, yeah, ever since here. I've seen that game. Because that game looks yeah. absolutely phenomenal. 
I haven't even wanted to like touch the demo or anything because I just I can tell that it's if I play the demo I'm just gonna like you know I'm gonna want the full game even more but like oh, they ran yeah. into this they ran into like a million bugs or something for mm -hmm. whatever reason and the like all information on that game just like stopped yeah and I have no idea if it's resumed since or if it's still like if it's still in bug uh, like bug hell yeah I'm, I'm not sure Oh, I'm not sure what their focus is right now, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it's in it's it, it's being worked on for sure. That's good at least. I feel like I'd yeah. know if it was abandoned, right? But like, I don't think they would want to abandon it because I think they're three stages. They're either three stages in, or they're working uh -huh. on stage three. Because I remember the last thing I saw was a screenshot of the cable car for the that leads yeah. to the Moria Shrine. So I assume that's gonna be like uh one of those like moving auto scroller type of beat em up areas where you just have to deal with enemies as the thing progresses to the actual location. Yeah, oh, it, yeah uh, I think uh, the, I think the last update was a few months ago on Steam, like like a like a news update, I mean. Oh. I like yeah. that they're taking the level based uh like the level based uh early access release like one yeah. at a time thing. Because yeah. Luna Knights did that as well. Mm -hmm. And Luna Knights has, um, I mean, I'm sure. Have you played Luna Knights actually? I've played Luna Knights. Yeah. I had a feeling like that. That seems like one of those games that you wouldn't miss. Uh huh. But like that game, when I when I first saw that game on like the Steam, I looked at it. I was like, this looks cool, and it was, it was in, it was still in early access, but it was at the point where they were like about a month maybe from finishing like the final stage. So. I didn't have to. I pretty much found about, out about it right when it was done, because they were working on the final area, and I saw that like they were releasing the game in a stage by stage basis. So every time a new stage would come out, there would be like you know bug reports, and then they would adjust the game difficulty. So each time they made a new stage, they adjusted the game balance, and the end result was when the whole game came out and was all together, like the way it played and the way it felt and everything was all taken care of ahead of time through the the method of doing level by level. And the result was like I played the full game and I was like this is like one of the best Toa fan games I've ever played. Like, the game is so good that even if you're not a Toa fan, like you, you just you would very I think you'd very easily come to like it a lot. And I think that it has a I think that's its reputation right now nowadays anyway is like it's a game that a lot of people know about even though they don't like know anything about Toa because it's just that good of a game. Yeah. So I've become a huge fan of like that. Uh, I guess I wouldn't call it design, but like that early access release idea. Like workflow? Uh, Maybe? I don't, I don't know the right word for it, but I don't. Yeah. I feel like design isn't correct. Uh -huh. Just just like the the taking the, you're putting everything, doing it level based, uh, like a level based structure so you can adjust all possible bugs that pop up in one section. Also adjust game balance and stuff. Like there's another game that I've been, uh, been closely following. I don't know if you played it yet. I don't think you have, but you might have heard of it. Uh, Lost Branch of Legend. Oh yeah, it's on my to-do list. It's first of all, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. It's it's really good. I can speak for that. I got the I got the chance to try it out. I never played a card builder game before in my life, mm -hmm. and in the first stream, I was definitely like asking chat a million questions, but like I got really into it, and now I'm now I'm a massive fan of it because. The game itself, cool. like aesthetically, it's gorgeous to look at. Like gameplay-wise, the the cards are all they're all fun to use. The characters are all interesting and unique and have like their own draws to them. And there's a bunch of different events. There's a lot of like Toho like love put into it, but on top of it, it's just a really really good card like deck builder RPG as well. So yeah. honestly, I couldn't recommend it any higher any more than uh, that I am right now. <laughs> I, I still uh, I still play it from time to time, but I've already played it so much that I've exhausted the whole unlock tree for the available content. So I, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the pretty much waiting for the new character to drop and then get to try them out. Huh. Cool. But so far, it's it's been showing it's shown a lot of promise, and they're also like they also have been adjusting things like events and cards and whatnot to make some better, make some less uh, silly. So it's getting good. It's good. Uh, good changes in the terms of like early access. And yeah. I think it's on sale right now as well. Really? I need. 
I think I bought it. Hold on, let me see. Lost, lost. Take a look. Lost. Oh, it's in Chinese, isn't it? Yep. Well, it's in English. It's it's been translated. Or, oh, okay. But I mean, like the. Yep. I think the name of the game. Lost or, Branch of Legend. You can search it by that, and you should find it. Oh, it's Toho. Colon. Hmm. Okay. There it is. Hmm. Sorry, chat. I'm I'm trying to read you, but I'm also trying to talk to Naro into uh, playing a game that I like. This is how you, this is how you get your streamers to play games you like. <laughs> That's how you do it. You gotta sell yeah, them oh, on this, it. Oh, this music is funky. This is the one that was done by. Uh, this is the one. You two Akiyama, yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah. I like the way this track looks. Although this is the only interpretation of the Forest of Magic I've ever seen that makes it look like this, <laughs> like <Right>. purple. <laughs> Yeah. It reminds me more of a cave than a, a forest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might be because of this cave we're in. <laughs> that, that could be it. I can't put my finger on it, though. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Whoever threw that oh, bomb yeah. <laughs> nailed three of us. Great. That was insane. <laughs> it's a good game, chat. That goes for Naro's chat, too. You guys probably know of it. But yeah, Lost Branch of Legend. Very, very good game. Uh has made me very interested in checking out like Slay the Spire at some point. I don't know if you have any experience with card RPGs, but I had no. zero and I was able to, you know, get into the game. Chat certainly helps, but, you know, be warned that card RPGs attract people who will talk to you like you have just, you know, taken your first steps out of the crib in terms of <laughs> how much you've like played a video game with card RPGs. It's, it's frankly, it's quite ridiculous sometimes. <laughs> But what, it, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. You've been at this longer than I have. You, you, you know the whole song and dance. I don't get to tell you. Yeah. <clears throat> so you mentioned uh, not having played the uh, Against Tokyo Night Festival. You know, I haven't played it, no. I've, yeah. I've seen some stuff of it, but I can just tell by... I can just tell, you know, by the way it looks that I would thoroughly enjoy it. Because anything with Seika and it can't be bad. Yeah. Yeah, let me just say, it's fantastic. It's really a labor of love. Like, it feels good. It looks gorgeous. It's, I've already it's... bought it. I got it on sale. So, when it goes live, like, when it finishes, I will definitely be, uh, I'll be on that instantly. Early access prices are always cheaper. But, you know, you, you risk not enjoying the game by the end of it. Expected to play Lost Branch Legends for three hours. I ended up playing it for 19 hours straight. See, I didn't play it for 19 hours straight, but yes, I, I have put in 19 hours into that game at this point. Card art is fun to look at. Using cards is fun. I like when my time pulse does 1,000 damage per uh, per turn. That's more than anything in the entire game can take. Just by a couple silly cards. All right, let's do one more, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll roll the uh, we'll roll the lobby again because I want to change my characters anyway. Oh wait, okay, yeah. Do one more here, one more, and then we'll change the lobby. Yeah, yeah. Stuck on the ceiling. Yeah, well, I, I'm not good at, I wasn't very good at card-based things either, but I feel like Lost Branch has, it's not too hard to learn as long as you do the reading, but there's also a lot to read. So if you kind of just like, if you kind of just like, I don't know, wave it off, then yeah, you'll probably make some mistakes. But it's fun to it's fun to constantly play cards and to synergize with other cards and just have like a 25 card turn that does a ridiculous amount of damage and preps you for the next turn. And then the next uh, the next turn you draw and you have like five cards and they're all bad and you can't do anything. It's just yeah. the nature of those games though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you brick and you brick on a turn where the enemy is going to do your entire health bar. <laughs> no stopping oh, it. Man. So Yukari's uh, spell card in this, I uh, gotta say, not very, not very helpful. Uh, every time I do get access to it, it's already too late. To the track is it. over, yeah. Yeah. Even in last place, I was in seventh for the most part. But her I, her I, card might be yeah. one of the slowest charges. You yeah. know what a uh, Remilia's spell card is? N no. Hers, uh, hers is the slowest. But oh. it's like, uh, it's kind of like the, it's kind of like a blue shell. But it's designed mm -hmm. to hit, like, everybody in front of Vermilia. It just, like, slides along the ground. But the thing is, oh, yeah. it takes so long for it to come out that there are some tracks on a standard three-lap course where you literally will not get it. Like, you just won't get it because there's not enough time in the track to roll it properly. <laughs> yeah. 
Unless you're at, like, you know, last place the entire time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, the only track I think you're gonna get it at a reasonable mid-place is, uh, the, the Palaquin ship, because that one's so long. But on a track like Mari Circuit, you're not gonna see that. Oh yeah, no. There is two giant orbs in front of me. What is going on here? Whoa. Oh, I saw some... At first place, you tried to take a shortcut, and they missed. And now I'm oh, just no. casually <laughs> taking first place from them. <laughs> they were winning, then they got flashbang. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hey, oh, speaking got, of Remy. I got warp, I got warp nowhere <laughs> and facing a wall. Nice. No, no, I failed. Wait, I... I just dodged Remy's spear by falling. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Holy power play. <laughs> I only dodged that because I fell by accident. <laughs> and then the, the person behind me got in front of me and they got hit by the they got hit by it, so I just kinda slid it past them. <laughs> well Sweet. we we take those. That happens. We take those. Oh man. So the bot the bot does not know how to drive on this track very well. Uh oh, what's happening back there? <laughs> there it is. Goodness. Some people fall on this track a lot. Alright, 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 hold on. Alright, back out, back out, back out. <clears throat> back out. I haven't, I haven't devolved, let's call it devolving, into doing a Lost Branch of Legend uh, run on a daily basis, but I have like... Sometimes I'm sitting there editing and I'm like, I need a break, and then I think about something in that game, and then I just throw it up and then I play around a bit. But it is it's very addictive. It is a very addictive game. It's very good. Yeah. Alright, are you on rank? Oh, actually, character first, character first. Character first. Random. Who do I get? So I got Sakuya. And I got Romilia. Okay. Sure. All right, are you on rank match? I'm ready to click it. All right, three, two, one, go. Let's go. Talking about it makes me want to play more. Exactly, right? Exactly. I'm, I'm, uh, did you get in yet? I am in, oh. yep. I'm oh, in here with Kraska okay. again. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll try again. Did you end up joining a different lobby? Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> There's a realize, lot of us here. I didn't realize there were <laughs> multiple like that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There's like six of us here. <laughs> oh, there's only three of us in my lobby. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Uh, back out again? Because uh, we're running out of time here. All right, I backed out. Oh, pardon me. All right, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Go. Uh, oh no! Uh, I'm empty. Three. Wait. Uh, and, uh, oh, no, wait. My no, lobby's back there. a full minute. Uh, uh, where? Huh? Yeah, I was about where to time I? out when nobody. Wait a minute! Slow down! I'm not even in the lobby. What do you mean okay. it's gonna start? There's two people in here. Why are we starting? <laughs> now you're now you're inside of it. What the heck? Wait, wait a minute. Wait. What? Oh hi everyone. Oh hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sure. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, I'm Clown Piece and uh, Maurice. Okay. Got Ramili and Sakuya. Wait a minute. Okay. I got the blue moon outfit. I look like uh, I look like Toyo Hime. And then the world Ooh. outfit for uh, Sakuya, which doesn't look anything like Dio. Oh. I'm liking the Zumpets. I, I think I think there's Zumpets. I, yeah. Are there trumpets in this? I like how hard it, it goes. Sounds like, it sounds like it. I, I am know. not doing I'm not this. sure what that was. <laughs> oh, I am struggling right now, dude. Struggling. Wait, I'm in third? How? <laughs> I don't know. What? Oh. No. Alright. Oh, no. I like the... Jeez, oh, what's happening? 
<laughs> the idea of this track where you like drive on the bookcases. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish it had its own music though. Oh, first ghosts I've seen of the night. I gotta hit Karaska just once with it. That's it. I'm not gonna hit him now because I've messed up. Maybe I'll get him a log. <laughs> oh yeah, you mean like playing Remy's music instead of uh, the libraries? Yeah, it plays uh, this for both like the Scarlet Devil Mansion and the Magic Library track. It's a good oh, track, yeah. but I wouldn't have minded an original of Patchy's theme. Although Patchy yeah. yourself isn't in the game. Wait a minute, why are we in second and third? What's happening? Why am I in sixth? <laughs> Who passed us? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who passed us. We were in first oh, and second geez. the whole time, and then suddenly I, I was in third. Uh huh. Okay. Well. Oh wait, maybe I am Dio colored. I can't even tell. The lighting oh, here damn. makes the blonde hair not really show. <laughs> oh jeez. Game broke. I don't know, man. Never dropped the place. I was winning until I wasn't. <laughs> Wish I had a little more Ooh. control or what I could like decide, but I gotta get them uh -huh. juicy points for that costume unlock. Oh, here again. This is the third time now. Cool beans. All right, here we go. Wow. Man, th these I'll ramps, when you see other racers use them, it's like they're not working correctly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't make these trips on Remy's back. This is not happening. I'm gonna try it for the first lap, and if I can't do it, you're, you're in my way. Thank you, Anonymous Ghost, for five gifted. Happy New Year. Although, I won't be here when that rolls over. Although, it might roll over for some people through the course of the stream. Oh. This is the part right here. I need to smoke this. Here we go. Ooh. Tight. Tight drifts. All right, I actually did that without falling. Oh, God. Oh, I saw that Damn. too. Damn, it happens every time. <laughs> no, dude. Oh, come on. I spawned a guy with a star. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Here he comes. Fifth place. Right. I hope that hit you. <laughs> One more for good measure. Whoa, that caught me off guard. I thought that was my ability. Oh, yeah. I don't want bombs. Bombs aren't going to get me out of fifth place. Oh, Remy. <laughs> Oops. This ain't good. Oi, oi, oi. One more. This is it. Simply move. Unaffected by this. Oh, yeah, Clown Bomb. Forgot you had that. Uh oh, what did I? Oh. What did that do? I don't even know. It's a uh, blue <laughs> shell. It drops a moon on first place. A lot less uh, visually intrusive than Sonai's flashbang. I yeah. found the moon, by the way, just on the road. I hit it. Oh, there it is. Hey. <laughs> it's a hitbox. I'm surprised to see that I'm in third. Oh, almost, almost, almost botched it. All right. I think I'm good. All right, I'll take that. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. It's hard to make those trips with Remy. No, I'm starting to see more of the Dio color now. Okay, okay, I see it. I get it. Here it is. 
As much as I like the models, I, you know, I really wish they could blink. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a little bit, just a little bit of interaction, maybe. Just a blink. Now, Dio's color scheme is, uh, he's like yellow and green, and uh, he's got black on him, too. There's actually a color in Hiso Tensoku that is much closer in color to that for uh, for Dio. Yeah, true. Mm, do I ever intend to play Lambreth of Tao too? Uh, I've heard about it. I've had I've had people who bought it when it was new, well new, but new on Steam, who told me about it. But some of them dropped it because it was really grindy and difficult, and I just don't know if that would be very enjoyable because I don't really play RPGs for the difficulty of the gameplay. I play them for the story. Which is gonna be wild, because when I have to, when I get around to playing GOSB, when that happens, that game is probably going to be very difficult, and I'm probably going to die a lot. Actually, is there an easy mode in that game? I might have to cash out. <laughs> Listen, when I play, uh, when I play Fantasy Maiden Wars, I fully intend, I fully intend to play on easy mode on that game. Yeah, yeah, I'll play, I'll play one of those. Uh, <laughs> I am very not good at uh, tactical RPGs. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of kind of difficult. What? What? I remember what? making many, many, many save states before. Uh, saving manually. <laughs> yeah, I might have to do that. Chat, we're not gonna talk about what just happened to me because it wasn't fair. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, like I want to use, I want to use as many characters as possible to see all the different animations. I want to see the story, of course, and I'm not very good at those types of games to begin with. So like, I want to play on a difficulty that allows me to just kind of see animations and enjoy the ride more so than the actual uh, difficult part of the game. Because, you know, I might end up restarting a lot, and that doesn't sound like fun to me. Mm-hmm. I'm more so in it because I've seen there's only one animation I've actually seen in that game so far because I played a very very little amount of it before like the first two chapters I watched Kane do her headbutt I watched her boobs jiggle and then she missed and I was like cool move and that was uh, <laughs> that was my full experience with fantasy maiden wars cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that's cool all right I'm not gonna do that shortcut again because it's uh, pretty not great Pretty not great at all. You're in slow speed, which means I am just going to pass you. No. Oh, I'm not passing you, apparently. Oh no. I saw that. <laughs> uh, doing it big. is not very good at turning. <laughs> she's doing her best, but she's built different. There's another game. Uh, ever heard of Genso no Keifu? You ever heard of that one? No. It's uh it's Toho Fire Emblem essentially. I played I it uh stuck. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I played it like uh it got a it got like a, a translation and I played it because it seemed like it seemed pretty cool. Someone told me about it and I was like, that seems neat, I'll give it a try. Oh oi 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 that was not good. Oh that was terrible. I'm gonna crash into the fire. You're gonna crash into the fire. You're gonna. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I I I somehow. <laughs> never mind. Clutched it out. So I played it on normal mode at first because I was like, okay, normal mode is normal mode. Whatever. I'll try it out. So I played a little bit, and it was cool, at first. And then by like chapter five, I was like, wait a minute. The enemies are like beating me up really hard. So I wasn't really like, you know, it has permadeath of course because. Fire Emblem. So I switched to easy mode to make it not as bad, and it didn't really help. So in Chapter 6, you know how Fire Emblem works, right? You, you, you're familiar with Fire Emblem games? So in yes. Chapter 6, uh, you, like, Suika is your st a starting character. She's basically the equivalent of your axe wielder. She has no, uh, no resistance. She's not very fast. She just hits hard and has, like, good defense. Well, I guess good defense isn't part of the axe build, but, you know. The point is, yeah. you have to use her, and in chapter 6, there's a, uh, a single enemy in that chapter. Yugi shows up. 
Yugi is just like a pre-promote. And in order to recruit her, to get her, like, to use her, you have to, you have to beat her with Suika. And the matchup, the, the matchup on easy mode was, I had to, I had to cheese it with saves. Because she was double attacking, and I wasn't. Oh, yeah. And my accuracy was about 60%. And I was supposed to win that with Suika to, to unlock her. And I had people in chat who had played the game prior telling me that on normal mode, you pretty much cannot defeat her with Suika to, unlo uh, to recruit her unless you get very specific speed increases on your levels. Up. Why am I going? Oh, that's, oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So unless you get enough speed on a 15% growth chance, mind you, you will not be able to double her and you will not be able to beat her. You will not be able to unlock her. And that's not even the best part. There's another chapter in the game. Chapter 21, 22, I think. There are about 70 plus enemies on the map. And in order to recruit three characters, you have to finish that map with four units or less on the map alive. So that means you either A, start the entire map with four units, or B, you just lose so many units over the course of the match that you only have four left by the end of it. Not a good requirement. So that yeah. game that game was cool at first, but it pretty quickly turned into a stream of just seeing ap how absolutely bogus and not nice the map design wanted to get by the end of it. And by the end of it, I was definitely feeling like, you know, like, I feel like, I feel like I had fun for a little bit, but it was definitely, it became one of those sunk cost fallacy games. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy this flashbang in slow motion. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, just barely missed the missed it. Ooh, crunch. You have to finish a 70 plus enemy unit map with only four units. Yes, if you want the recruit. You can also use Yugi to recruit one of them and only one of them. However, that game has pair-ups like uh, uh, like Fire Emblem, like Awakening and Beyond does, but it also has trios, and those and trios are just pair-ups, you know, cranked up even more. And characters that can enter trios are basically unkillable like machines, but then the then the enemy starts throwing trios at you and they become killing machines. My favorite chapter. You have okay, so there's how the chapter starts. You gotta get five NPCs to the gate to get them to f safety. So that that in and of itself takes like 35 minutes. That happens, and then like Cherno shows up and Diose shows up, and you have to take them out four times on the map. You take them out, they come back. You take them out, they come back, and then the last time they come back, they're a duo unit. You take them out, they're gone for good, and then Yuka shows up. Then you have to fight Yuka. So you go down to where Yuka spawns, you beat Yuka, and when you take Yuka out, she comes back with herself as a duo oh. boss. Oh. <laughs> this is all in the span of one chapter, by the way. This is all one chapter. <laughs> and you have to fight a duo boss against Yuka, where she has a signature move that just has like a natural might of like 40 or some wacky number like that. It's it's not right, man. I was playing on easy mode. <laughs> oh, barely yeah. made that jump. Chad, I got the whole game on uh, the VOD channel. <laughs> I gotta say, it, it had its moments, but the end game map design was actually just... <laughs> I mean, you could tell it was a fan game. Let's, let's just say that. Fan games always have, you know, they have this, these moments where you play them and you're like, yeah, that's a fan game, all right. You can tell that not a lot of people tested it, and the people that were making it were a fan of difficult challenges, and they weren't caring about a more, I wouldn't even say casual audience. Because to me, I don't, like, even the most, like, hardcore, diehard Fire Emblem fan would see that map design and be like, what are you doing, dog? <laughs> Oh, I keep forgetting to hold the right button on the shortcut. Yeah, I've played some. I've played a fair, fair bit of 
overtuned, I, I would say. Uh, <laughs> games. What's what's the what's the I don't want to say worst one, but like what's what's the uh, one that's giving you the most like difficulty? Oh man, I don't even know. I remember um, I remember Boho being very <laughs> trolly and overly difficult. The first one. Boho, I think it was uh, Boho Yo Yo Moves. Oh, you played you played uh. You played that one. I think that's the third or fourth. Yo Yo Moves the second one. Uh, Did you oh, play it before yeah. it was translated? Yes. Okay, I thought so. Because I played, uh, I knew the, the first one was translated. I got to play that one. And then we got the second one and the third one translated. And the second one had some, it had some bosses. Mm -hmm. Oh, it had some bosses. Don't mind me. I'm just going to swoop in here and take that second place back. Like, I remember just entering a room and then something was shooting at me with a ludicrous amount of bullets and I was just like, what What do you yeah. What do you want me to do? Like, I didn't know what the game wanted me to do. Oh, ow. I did it. Confident first. <laughs> I beat that Sakria. Dude, that's what it was. I turned on God Mode. I, I actually turned on God mode when I when I after like five attempts at the Sakuya extra fight because that was just not happening That fight was absolutely nonsense. I had no idea what the game wanted me to do in there at all So I was just like no, I'm I'm just I'm invincible now And to be honest, I don't remember a lot of details of the one that came after that <laughs> Were there any uh, were there any fan games you ever played that you just stopped like you just rage quit? Oh man I can't really think of any that I straight up quit. Uh, Hardest I've quit was to be honest. Like I'm really persistent. Like <laughs> so am I. I. Really... So am I. But the hardest I've ever quit was disappearing for sure. I have oh, never yeah. ever quit a game quite that hard like that before. <laughs> I was so angry. I was just looking at it. I was just like, no, game's over. I won. Tenshi defeated Evil Reimu and saved Gensokyo or, or ruined it. I don't really care. And that was the end of the game for me. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've played through I played through the entirety of the Pokemon Kaizo games. Oh, I yeah. played <laughs> like five hours of uh of I wanna be the Shrine Maiden. I've I've done my my you know, I, I put in my hours and some bad experiences, but that yeah. one that one actually drew, drove me over the wall. How much I did not like it. Thinking about uh, playing the second Shrine Maiden game, but at the same time, I think I'm just gonna. Maybe I don't play that game because the first one. I don't know if you played that one yourself. No. Nah. But that was my first ever. I want to be the guy game. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, no, not good. <laughs> really not good. <laughs> It's oh, yeah. it's very very not good. It has it has everything that you'd expect from like you know stereotypical I want to be the guy stuff. And then my favorite room I got to was just you have to wait for like 40 seconds for a platform before you're oh, yeah. even allowed to try the segment that it's attached that's, to. That's that's great. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. I haven't played I haven't played too many like I want to be the guy style fan games. Um, There's two for Toho. Yeah. That's all I know. Barf. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's all good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, I've i only ever played, uh, like, I Want a Maker, it's called. I think I watched you play that. Is that the one with the mini games? Yeah, it's like it's like a Mario Maker style uh, thing. Oh, okay. I, play, I, I remember watching you, uh, I watched you, what, you play, like, a mini game one before. I haven't seen neat, but at the same time, like, you know, that's mini games. It's a cool idea, but I saw it was in Japanese, so you were yeah. trying to feed these guys fruits, and I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah, is he doing? Yeah. How is he getting that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that one was fun. I, I just watched someone else play that. I got really intrigued by it, and I had to try it myself. Oh, uh, I've been just, there. Just, just a. I wanted to try my hand at just deciphering the Japanese because they basically tell you what they want to eat, but it's, sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's direct, sometimes it's vague. Oh. And uh, with poor, poorly written Japanese, you know, handwriting. 
<laughs> yeah, that's another thing, right? The handwriting is hard to recognize. Yeah. <laughs> so the cool thing about this track, I don't know if you know, but there's a, there's a picture near the like the end of the track, and the Scarlet Curiosity like box art is just in the frame. I don't really know why, but... Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, found it? Near the end, there's uh, you'll see a picture frame, and you'll see Sakuya and, and Romilia, and Sakuya's holding the umbrella. Yeah. It's, it's the, it's yeah, the box that, art from the art. game. Yeah, that art's nice, yeah. So I saw the, that... The... It's about right here. Oh. Uh, it should be on the wall, like right to your right and left. Oh, yeah, it's oh, up I there. Oh, I see it, yeah. Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> I saw that when I first played it. I was like, does that mean there's more Easter eggs on maps? And I went looking, and there weren't any. Catch one of these. <laughs> Did yeah, not no, hit you. Dog, dog, please. All right, go down. <laughs> what? Chad, how did that not hit him? I was point blank. Three bombs. <laughs> you grazed it? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't, even, I, I didn't even hear nothing. On my screen, I was like on your tail, and I just lobbed bombs directly into you, and you just did not care. <laughs> true NA aim. How's a true NA aim, man? That was an NA aim. I had I hit the mark three times in a row, but the game said no, you didn't. But I can't argue with the game. Oh man, I'm, this track is not. I'm not drifting at all on this track. Oh, I got the shortcut. Nice. It's the one that's like right there. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna slowly climb the stairs. Phew. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Genius of Safiro's B. I don't know if you're going to play that yourself. Because oh, oh, I'd like to play that. It's long. It's, oh, yeah. <laughs> it took me like 100 plus hours. <laughs> You've, oh, you played it before then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I, I, I've just heard about it. Uh, yep. I've heard about it many times. But, like, you know, I heard, like, oh, you could play the original. And then there's, like, the console updated version that doesn't have a translation. And then... Here we are where they're like, oh, it's going on Steam, and now it's like, hey, it's also coming in English. And it's like, well, goddamn, now I don't have a reason to not play it, right? So right. I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it the old college try. Mm -hmm. Whether or not I can finish the whole thing, we'll see. But I do plan on putting a honest effort into it because people say it's really good. Yeah. Like it, it is. Like, yeah, it really is. It's one of those older Toa fan games that like is always up there. Pretty much anyone who is a fan of Toho between th those years, like the, the golden years, is like has it on their top five list. And like I've played a lot of games from that era as well that I like I hold in a really high regard, like Tohovania, for example. Yeah. I find it hard to believe that those games are <laughs> like Tohovania 2 came out like a, a decade ago, and the amount of polish and like effort that went into that thing, like I just can't believe it's as old as it is. And of course, it's getting a. It is also getting a new release, like uh, the first one did. Although I haven't seen any info on it since that update. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm anticipating that too. I'm hoping it's. I, see, the thing is, I don't know what they're really gonna change, because at least yeah. with the, uh, with the first one, they added Suik as a sub weapon, which kind of sucks, by the way. Oh yeah. They yeah. slightly changed how the ending works. So the, like the, the ending's the same, but the course of uh, explanation is different, so it flows better. And of course, uh -huh. they got in all. <clears throat> sorry, they got in all the uh, voice actors from the second game to reprise their roles, and they yeah, got two. Too, yeah. They got two new voices for Sika and Chirno, who, by the way, absolutely nail their role. Like, Chirno's voice actor is Aoyuki. Like, she is well yeah. known, but then. Uh, Oh, what's her name? Suika's voice actor. Her name was like started with an H. I think it was like Haru. I think it was like Haruka Okazaki or something. I don't remember her name, but her, she, I couldn't find any like roles I recognized from her. So I was like, oh, I don't know who this is. And then as soon as she started talking as Suika, I was like, this is the perfect Suika. Like <laughs> she sold me instantly. Absolutely instantly. But I don't think there's gonna be any new like voice lines in the second game. So I have to wonder yeah. if they're gonna like redo all their lines, or if they're just gonna like if it's just gonna be like an HD port without many changes at all. Right. Yeah. It was Miho Okazaki. Okay, thank you. I don't know why. Why am I thinking H? Maybe I'm thinking of. Uh... Oh God, what's her name? 
Haruka something voices uh, two of the characters in the second game. Oh, okay. Uh, what's her name? I I, I keep want to I keep wanting to call her Totetsu, but I know her name's not Totetsu. <laughs> <laughs> But her name um, is Haruka, and I think she's the voice of Alice and, uh... She's the voice of Alice and... Komachi. Oh, gotcha. I, I did my... I, I went through all the VAs and the roles when I did the video on that game. So I, re I remember a few of them. I think it's funny whenever I hear Miyuki Sawashiro now, I can only think of Sakuya. <laughs> like, when I started, when I was playing Yakuza 0... And uh, Makoto showed up and she started talking and I was like, wait a minute, I, I recognize this voice. And I could <laughs> not hear as anything but Sakuya. And even like cool. in uh, Bakuman uh Sudoga, like that's probably one of her most well-known roles. The way she does that role is like the exact same delivery as as uh, Sakuya as well. So when I rewatched Bakuman and I heard that, I was like, huh. That's just like, I just could not... I couldn't not see Sakuya anymore. Like that, to me, that's that's her voice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Tomatsu Haruka, thank you. I keep wanting oh. to call her Totetsu Haruka. Totetsu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not my fault. Cool. But yeah, when you played uh, Tohovania, the, the, the Steam port, did you notice the, the, the pixel art looking a bit blurry? Blurry? I don't think it would look too blurry. I thought it was more uh, cleaned up. Oh yeah, no, cause I, 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 I don't know if it was my setup, but yeah, the, 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 the game had a, it. it was widescreen for the Steam version, I noticed that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not sure, like, when I played it, I found the, uh, pixel art looked a bit, I, I mean, it wasn't even pixel art anymore, it just, yeah, it's not really it pixel like art, it, it's very smooth. Yeah, it, it was like, <clears throat> it's like AI it upscale like or something. poorly scaled, like poorly upscaled, oh. blurry. I didn't think end. I didn't like, see it as I didn't think it looked okay. that poor. Maybe okay. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe um, I got rose tinted glasses on, or maybe your <laughs> setup was bo bocked. Bocked. Yeah, what yeah, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was just using a random laptop to play it on. Oh, maybe. Because I, I, yeah, I, uh, I thought it looked I thought it looked clean. Yeah, because I was I was traveling. So my, my setup my setup was limited. Oh, oh, that was when was that when ESA was starting? Like that game came out yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. And then okay, that makes sense. Oi, oi, oi. I got all the achievos on that game. Gotta, gotta see all the stuff. I like that, uh, I, like, uh, what's her name? Sato Rina, I believe it was. Yeah. Her, right. uh, her Reimu is my favorite Reimu. It's really good. Yeah. She just strikes the perfect amount of I don't care, it, like, uh, and irritation in the voice that I can totally, like, pin onto yeah. Reimu. Especially yeah, in that art style. Much. Yeah, it's perfect. But I like that they made it in uh, in the game. When you die, when you die a lot in like constant like rep uh, fashion, it, like normally when Reimu gets knocked out, she just does like a pain scream. But when you start dying a lot, she starts just saying completely different lines as like jokes. So oh, I yeah? was <laughs> like, normally she's just like ah, and she screams, but. Like, when I was doing the Flandre fight, she just started mouthing off. <laughs> she started mouthing <laughs> off. She even quotes, uh, one of them, one of them is she quotes, uh, Joseph. Like, she just goes, oh my god, holy shit. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, they, she had fun in the recording booth. Oh, that's nice. for sure. That's, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Like, uh, my, my knowledge of Japanese is very limited, but there are a few phrases I can pick out to, like, understand the joke. Like, one of them, she says, she's like, she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you, like, when she dies. And she's like, basically retorts herself. It's like, wait, I'm, a, I'm the one who died, though. So, like, <laughs> after a while, yeah, they just, like, I guess they just tried to fill, uh, fill the dead air. Literally, the dead air. Yeah. With, uh, yeah, yeah. silly voices. Because <laughs> I remember one where she actually just started going insane. <laughs> like... There were just bleeps on bleeps on bleeps. <laughs> really? <laughs> and there was one where she was just like whining about how she didn't want to be here anymore and she just wanted to go home. <laughs> it's like, me too, Raymo, me too. Uh, relatable. So that hard mode, uh, that hard mode Flandre fight? Oh my god, dude. You die in four hits. Oh yeah. <laughs> you die in four hits and you gotta wait so long to attack her. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Yes, Toavania remake, the one on Steam. 
it, it delivered. It delivered. It is a tad pricey, but it delivered a good game. And I think there's a lot of playtime you can get out of it if you like the, the sort of structure that it delivers. The boss fights are fun. The second game is much, much uh, better in, in a lot of different ways. And it will be getting... Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> it will be getting... Uh... An eight, it'll, be, it'll be getting a new version at some point. I don't know when. Uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah, there was a trailer at a couple months ago. There was a trailer a couple months ago that like just confirmed it. But again, I don't know yeah. what they're adding. Cause sure, so you could get added as a sub weapon, but the rest of the game was already made without Suika in mind. So I couldn't actually find like anywhere that Suika was good to use. Because bosses, they fly. They don't yeah. touch the ground. Mm. So anything that Suika could hit, I could hit with the other two and do like more damage with anyway. So I was just using Chirno and Marissa. I just couldn't find a good use for uh, Suika at all. But it, you know, it was nice that she stuck around and her voice actors got to do more lines with her. Because like I said, probably my favorite Suika voice I've ever heard. It just yeah, the yeah. drunken slosh that she puts in, it's it's just perfect. <laughs> yeah. Tolvani became like my uh that's like my uh go to voices for those characters. Cause I know, you know, when it comes to series like this that don't have voice actresses to them, you always gonna play the game of do they sound right? Does this fit the character? And I don't think everybody is gonna agree to one or the other, so Voicing characters is always a bit difficult, but I like the ones that I've heard And the ones uh, the ones specifically for Toa Vania are some of the ones that I have been able to like attribute to those characters Pretty much permanently at this point like when I, like Yomu when I when I hear when I see Yomu I hear her voice in the same one from uh, Toa Vania who was like when you see some of the other roles these voice actresses had been in even just like before the game came out, these are pretty high profile voice actors for a Dojin game that probably yeah. came out and released yeah. for 12 bucks. Yeah. It's insane. It's kind of crazy, yeah. And then Frontier Aja was just like, okay, bye for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, they just disappeared. <laughs> yeah, there were so many rumors and stuff like, where'd they go? And then, yeah. you know, in 2022, they were like, hey, by the way, check this out. We partnered yeah. with, uh, like, Phoenix, or play, I don't remember who they who it was, play Dojin. They're like, yeah. yeah, I got an HT remake of this game, and it's just like, yo, word? And then they made no mention of it for, like, a year. And then they were like, oh, by the way, this is still happening. <laughs> and I was like, oh, word? Yeah, because that was announced for, like, uh, holidays, uh, holiday 2021. Yep. And then nothing. And then another trailer came out so much longer in the future, and was like, yeah, 2022. Yeah. I'm blind. I'm blind! It reminds me of Luna Knight's Cherno update, yeah? They did, they did the same thing there. Oh, yeah, because it was supposed and to come to Switch, that. right? Yeah, because it was also coming to the Switch. And... Uh, and, uh... The Cherno update was Windows... Like, the, the... Is it the Windows Store? Microsoft Store? It was Microsoft Store exclusive. For, like, what? a couple of months. The, the update, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What Just the heck? update adding Cherno as a play of, uh, as a as a as a mini boss. I thought yeah. I thought it was supposed to be something that was to come out with the it comes out with the Switch first, and then yeah. they they added it to uh, like uh, PC versions. So you're yeah, saying no, the the patch was only available on like Windows Store? Yeah. 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 What? How does yeah. that even happen? Yeah, I don't know. Huh. But anyway, I gotta bounce. Oh yeah, we're ten to two. All right, I guess this is the last one. All right, chat. Last one, last one. Here we go. Yeah, it was. It first came out on... Uh, the update was first for Switch, then the uh, the Xbox and uh, Windows Store version, and then finally on Steam a few weeks or months after. Last time I played that game, I, did a, I wanted to do a run that didn't use uh, slowdown or time stop on the bosses. Yeah, and yeah. surprisingly, it went pretty well because there are some attacks that while they're really hard to dodge you graze so many bullets prior to them hitting you that you kind of just yeah. heal off of it anyway right yeah <laughs> so 
I, uh, I, I got through Remy in like the skin of my teeth, and then I just, everything else was pretty solid. It's a fun game that you, like, you can even do that to begin with. But like, the, I, I like that game's like main mechanics anyway. They're so well implemented. Like, that game really makes you feel like Sakuya. But the way oh, yeah. it, it puts all the abilities in there, and they all like work for her. I especially like when she throws a chainsaw upwards. That's my favorite <laughs> attack. That's very Sakuya of her to do. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like like the snail time yeah. is a unique idea on, uh, like I've never seen that idea before attributed to Sakuya's time stop. I've only ever really mm -hmm. seen her time stop be attributed to just time stop. And then she's yeah, got like the throwing knives. Yeah. And then she's got like the knife boots where she can throw the knives and jump off the knives and use them as like platforms. Like yeah, there was yeah, a yeah. lot of different creative things done with this ability to yeah. make a uh, like exploration in a Metroidvania setting fun and enjoyable. And the bosses were all really well done as well. Just a, just yeah. a great game. Yeah, one thing I was hoping for was an update to add like uh, a new playable character like Cherno. Like just finding some wacky way to use Cherno's breathing abilities to Surprised like, they didn't actually do that because yeah, every yeah. Castlevania, like Metroidvania game, has like its quote unquote Richter mode, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I was hoping they would do some kind of Richter mode with Cherno freezing things instead of stopping time. Gotta see how well it works. Yeah. Oh man, that was below me. Cherno, I like that Cherno, like, her inclusion doesn't really change the game. She basically, mm -hmm. they just basically move a, a, an item that you need to do the extra world behind yeah. her. Because that item is only needed for in there anyway. So, yeah. the, you know, it doesn't hurt to... Oh my goodness, what's happening? Okay, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I gotta get time stop so I can cheese a victory here. <laughs> I'm doing it. I just, as soon as I get time stop here, I need a... Oh, that works too, actually. No, I'm gonna touch it. Yep. Very good. I don't think I'm gonna win now. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna win. Oh. No, I got hit by the Gungnir. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that is, that is unfortunate. <laughs> no, I fell again. What is even happening? Oh. Uh... What a, what a bunch of jokers. Oh man. Could have won that with one more good ring. Could have time stopped, could have been past everything. Instead I got pierced on the, the jump part. <laughs> I was yeah, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, uh. easy come, easy go. Man, we really burned like an hour or two hours on that, huh? Crazy. Let yeah, everybody that was fun. finish up. That was fun. There we go. Back out. Get out of here. I didn't level up, chat. I almost did. Super close to next rank. Alright. Oh, yeah, that new sippy mode is nice. Yeah. <laughs> the Cherno in the bottle. Bottle Cherno, <laughs> man. Bottle Cherno. <laughs> bottle Cherno. Alright, well, there you go, chat. Some Play some Sky Drift. That was fun. Didn't yeah. change too many lobbies up. We got distracted by conversation, but I hope. Everybody got a chance to play and enjoyed just, you know, just whatever the whatever it is we were talking about while we played. We, mm -hmm. we managed to burn through nearly two hours, so I'd say we did a good job there. But now, uh, Naro is going to go look at fireworks, because his New yeah. Year's is in, like, five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and me, I'm going to throw up a BRB, and then I'm going to resume with the Hina update. So, cool. I'm going to let you go. You enjoy your fireworks. Thank and you, I'll... and uh, thanks for having me, and that was fun. Thank yeah. you. Talk to you again in yeah. the future, I suppose. See you, see you soon. Later, man. All right, chat. And now I will return in just a moment. I have to take a piss. And when I return, we're going to play some Hina with uh, new characters. In the meantime, enjoy this, uh, this song that I really like. Be right back.